Okay. For this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to format your uh, Imrod paper. So the first thing that you'll see in here is the formatting size. And what we've got is the paper is set at 12 point font. So I've used, uh, if we go to the home page, I've used Calibri body and we can see the number here is 12. Now I can change this by selecting all and I can change the font size to 11, so a little bit smaller, but uh, I prefer 12, right? And you also want to make sure that you do have all of your fonts in the same style, so you're going to click on Calibri body. Now here, we've got some extra stuff, so we're gonna delete that there. All right, so the next thing we need to do is make sure our margins are set at one inch, so we're going to click on layout, and uh, we look over here to margins, and I'm going to have normal margins. So this is set at one inch for top, bottom, right, and left. All right? So we don't need to customize that. You just want to make sure that your margins are set at normal. All right, um, now the next thing we need to do is double space. So we're going to collect, select all. all right? On a Mac, it's Control A. On a Windows machine, it's, uh, sorry, I'm at, it's a Control A. So we're going to collect all. And then we're going to right click here and we're going to go to paragraph and we are going to go down to where it says spacing and we will click double. All right. So now we have double spaced this particular paper. Okay. The other things that we need to have is a cover page. So I've got the title here and what I'm going to do is just enter and I hit control enter or uh, sorry, control enter or command return if you're on the Mac. All right, now we're going to delete one line so that we are even. Okay, so on the cover page, we want to have it centered, so we're going to highlight it. We're going to click Home, and we'll click the Center button here. All right, we want this heading to be a little bit larger, so we're going to hit heading number one. And uh, let's jump, jump back on us, we're going to center it again. All right, and the other things that we have on the covers page is the title. So we have that, the names and student ID of each writer. So I'm going to make up some names. Oops, I'm going to go back here. This is causing me some issues. So I'm going to click enter. James Dean, and his student number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we've got John Doe. And we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we've got Sally Ride, and this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so these are the student names. Now the names are not as important as the title, so we're going to bring this down to a heading two, and again we will center it. Alright, so now the next thing we're going to put in is the section code. And we're going to just call it T01, the teacher's name, and the date. Today's date. All right, so again, we are going to center this, and we have done that. Now, the next thing we need to do is add a header. Okay, so we double click up here. Okay, we double click up here and on the header we include the title, which is uh, Lorem Ipsum. Sorry, I had to think of what, I, what my title was. And then we need the names of each of the writers again. So we have James Dean. John Doe and Sally Ride. Okay, so we've got that. Now, we're going to go to the footer. And just click that. And we want to have a footer with the page number in it. And we're going to click on page number here. And up pops the screen, so we're going to put bottom of the page. You can have it aligned inside, outside, right, left, center. I prefer right, but let's just go ahead and move it to center just because. So there we have it. Now, you will notice that this is the title page and we have it suppressed. 
This has happened because when we go into format page numbers, we start at zero. We don't want a number on the first page. Okay, so we have that. All right, 